Well, hi. My name's Rick Giggy, and uh, I'm making videos to try to help. And uh, <clears throat> now that I put this on, I'm Grandpa Ricky. I'm 84, <laughs> still alive. And today I want to talk about uh, my hero, uh, Thich Nhat Hanh. And I'm going to be reading from this book. I'm going to try to read the whole book. But first I want to talk about Thich Nhat Hanh. I don't know if uh, you have seen pictures of the uh, Buddhist uh, monks in uh, Vietnam uh, pouring gasoline on themselves and lighting a match and killing themselves uh, with considerable equanimity and calm. And uh, Thich Nhat Hanh belonged to that uh, order of Buddhists. <clears throat> and you may not know it, but when there was a monk burning himself or herself in, uh, in uh, Hanoi, uh, or uh, in, uh, in um, well, it was in both cities, in the north and the south. And so eventually when the uh, uh, people of Vietnam got their country back, um, uh, that order of Buddhists was banned from, uh, from, uh, all of, uh, all of Vietnam. Um, and, uh, uh, Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, uh, went and started at another monastery in, uh, France called, um, Plum Village. And, uh, Thich Nhat Hanh lived there for many years, wrote many books. He was, uh, talked to his lawyer, his book lawyer, and his book lawyer told me that, uh, he had, um, that Thich Nhat Hanh was the fussiest of his clients. Uh, and Thich Nhat Hanh died recently. He had a stroke a number of years ago and, uh, became quite a handful. Uh, and all of his fellow monks and people at the, at the monastery, uh, they were compassionate with him and treated him with loving kindness. So uh, uh, Thich Nhat Hanh wrote this book, No Mud, No Lotus. And it's a book on how to suffer. And I don't think that we're very good at, lots of us, most of us aren't very good at suffering. We want to stop it, we avoid it, we get addicted to stuff so we can avoid it. Uh, you know, we buy stuff and do mean stuff and anything we can to not feel like we're suffering. I know people who are ashamed of their suffering. And I know people who hate anybody who is suffering uh, and think they're weak. And uh, I've noticed that when people feel that way about suffering, they, uh, they don't care how much suffering they cause to the planet, to each other. And uh, I, I hope you enjoy this series uh, on No Mud, No Lotus, How to Suffer. Uh, what does he say here? Uh, the art of transforming suffering. And you know, you can't heal anything unless you're willing to feel it. And uh, if you try to feel it, but alone, then it doesn't work. So I hope you make videos about stuff that helps you and uh, or podcasts or blogs or whatever you can do to help life. We all want to help life. That's why I know we're all friends, but we don't know it. We're just noticing the differences between us. We don't notice the similarities. We, all the humans bleed red blood. Uh, that's the least of it. We all love our children. We all love, most of us love flowers and we love kind acts and we like gifts. Some of us even like giving gifts even more than we, we, we like receiving them. Anyway, please help life, okay?